Rabbi, thank you. The Talmud says what comes from the heart goes to the heart. That's the warmth and kinship I feel so deeply with the Jewish community. I got in trouble, got criticized very badly by the southern part of my state and some of the southern parts of the country when, uh, 35 years ago, I said, you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist, and I'm a Zionist. <laughs> You don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. Hanukkah is a timeless story of miracles. Think about it. Folks, were there no Israel, there wouldn't be a Jew in the world that was safe. Were there no Israel. I make no bones about it. I've had my difference with some Israel leadership. I've known Bibi for now 51 years. He has a picture on his desk of he and I when he was a young member of the Israeli uh, um, s uh, s service here, uh, Foreign Service. And uh, I was a 32-year-old senator. And I wrote on the top of Bibi, I love you, but I don't agree with the damn thing you had to say. <laughs> it's about the same today. I love him. And... <laughs> well, look. <laughs> and we'll continue to lead the world in humanitarian assistance to innocent Palestinian civilians who emphasize to our friends, to our Israeli friends, we need to protect civilian life. And let me be clear, Hamas using rape, sexual violence, and terrorism and torture of Israeli women and girls is appalling and unforgivable. And you should, when I was there, saw some of the photographs. It's beyond, it's beyond comprehension. We all have to condemn such brutality without equivocation, without exception. Yeah. I, also, I also recognize your hurt from the silence and the fear and for your safety, because the surge of anti-Semitism in the United States of America and around the world is sickening. We're calling upon all Americans to make clear there is no place for hate in America against Jews. Muslim or anybody else. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Hanukkah and God bless you all.